I'm running for governor because the Democrats in charge are letting lawlessness run rampant and using the actions of a few bad actors to wage an all-out war on law enforcement. Former Hennepin County Sheriff Rich Stanick jumps into the governor's race, joining a crowded GOP field, aiming to take on Governor Tim Walz. Stanick was sheriff for 12 years before losing his 2018 re-election bid. Before that, he was the Minnesota Public Safety Commissioner. He resigned when it surfaced that he had used some racial slurs as a police officer. Stanick's entry comes hours before party activists meet for precinct caucuses. That happens tonight. Political reporter Theo Keith outlines what's at stake on the Republican side and the controversy on the Democratic side. Republican activists gathering Tuesday night will hold straw polls in the governor's race, revealing which candidates in a crowded field have the inside track. I think that'll be really telling um, who comes out as the winner in that uh, straw poll. Candidates have been putting on a full court press to get supporters to caucus and elect friendly delegates to the state party convention in May, where the GOP will endorse a candidate. That endorsement is high stakes. Candidates usually drop out if they don't get it. So are we asking our candidates to abide by the endorsement? The answer is absolutely. There's a lot of power that comes with that endorsement, and all of our candidates um, thus far that have entered the race have said they are going to abide by the endorsement. For Democrats, Tuesday's stakes are lower because Governor Tim Walz doesn't have DFL opposition. While Republicans hold their meetings in person, more than 70 percent of DFL precincts have gone virtual. Democrats who do meet in person, mostly in rural Minnesota, will have to meet COVID guidelines. You had a choice. There is a choice. You could go contactless. You could do it in person. If you're going to do it in person, you have a responsibility to your neighbors, to your community, to others to keep people safe. Democrats have stirred controversy by allowing non-citizens and felons on probation to take part. State law says only eligible voters can participate, and a recent court ruling was murky. Republicans say it's law-breaking, while the DFL says it has a right to decide who participates in private party activities. This isn't about voting. The more that we buy into this frame that this is about voting, you're missing the point. Caucusing starts at 7 o'clock. Republican officials say we'll have the results of their governor's race straw poll late tonight or tomorrow. Kelsey? All right. Thanks, Theo. Many